Morning everyone, we'll just wait for a couple of people to come on. Morning Stefan. So welcome everyone to Wander House. Friday morning, beautiful weather, mid-December, hard to believe, but uh, we're taking advantage of it. I'm here today uh, to show you what stage we're at with the framing and to show everyone uh, some of the air barrier detailing and uh, ceiling work that we're doing in uh, expectation of installing the second floor joists uh, later today, maybe earlier tomorrow. So I'll just flip the camera around and give you a little bit of a preview of uh, where we're at, show you what the house is looking like, and then we'll talk about some products and some details specifically. So here we are, you can see lots of material still on site but lots of house taking shape. I'm standing right now uh, in the back of the house in the east side. This is uh, looking from the kitchen down towards the living room with our front entrance and our lift and slide window down there. Over to the left here, we've got the dining room window starting to take shape. That's gonna be a 20 foot tall window, so that'll be beautiful when that's finished. And then as I turn around the rest of the way, this is the east facing kitchen window and it's about 20 feet wide so we've got some beautiful sunsets or sorry sunrises to look forward to out of this window so we're really starting to get excited about the spaces of the house taking shape but what I wanted to talk about today was our air barrier strategy and how we plan to uh, make this uh, as airtight as we possibly can so I'm gonna flip over to this wall where it's not quite as sunny and it's easier to see you can see quite clearly now how our wall truss system is working. So we've got really deep wall cavities. They, uh, they work really well as storage lockers uh, up until the time we insulate it. And what we've got going on for an air barrier on the inside here is going to be OSB taped and sealed using a SEGA tape. But what we've done at the floors is we've come up with the detail to hang our floors from hangers entirely inside of the air barrier. So not only inside of the thermal line to get rid of any tricky details insulating behind headers, but actually hang the floors inside of the air barrier so that the air barrier can be continuous in a straight line past them. So what's behind the OSB that you're looking at here, if you flip around to the inside of the wall, you can actually see that our floor headers sit on top of the wall joists inside here. We've got a double two by 10 up there. And before we install the hangers on that, we install an OSB prep. And this prep goes slightly higher than the next floor plate and comes down below the depth of the floor so that once we've put the next floor on, we've finished closing in the entire house, we can insulate the walls, put the next piece of OSB up to it and be, have access to the seams to do the taping for the rest of the house. Now some taping has to happen right now because we're not going to have access to these panel joints. So you can see the green SEGA tape, it's a Rissan, which is an air sealing interior tape that we're putting over all of our OSB joints prior to installing the floors and even prior to installing the hangers. Now some of you might be looking at the hangers and noticing that there's, uh, there's about 14 uh, hanger screws in each one going right through the air barrier and thinking well that might be a problem well we've come up with something for that as well let's just see some scraps on it down here what we've got is a, a separate product it's a sega double-sided nail sealing tape it's like a little foam gasket basically but this double-sided tape is put on the hangers before they're put in place and then as you screw through it it self seals to the fasteners so that they don't cause any air leakage like that and it's actually, it works out quite nicely because the, the double-sided tape is sticky enough that you can position the joist hanger just with the tape and then it stays where it needs to stay while you put the fasteners in. So that's working quite well. One thing to note, for all of you out there uh, considering air barrier solutions and thinking about taping OSB, uh, keep in mind that the air tightness of OSB is in part related to its thickness. And you'll find some literature out there for this, but it's something that people are starting to learn and I myself only became aware of it quite recently. If you try to do your sealed OSB using the standard 7 sixteenths builder grade OSB, you may find that you actually pull air right through the material itself. So we've gone up to 5 eighths OSB 
to make sure that we have a better air barrier product. And uh, it's even possible to go to three quarters to really be sure. So stay tuned to this project. We'll uh, let you know how 5 eighths works out. Uh, and uh, again, you can check out our project at webuildahome.ca. I'll just flip around and show you how it's coming. So we've got some more hangers going in on the north wall. We'll have some LVLs in place later today. We've got the framing around the stair opening. You can see down to our main back entrance down there. And there's one more view looking back towards the east and uh, in our big kitchen window that we're very much looking forward to. So thanks everyone for tuning in and watching this. If you have any questions uh, about the air barrier detail or the, the framing system we're using or any other questions about Passive House in general, check out our website. It's webuildahome.ca. We're blogging there uh, about the project uh, as frequently as we can find time to do. And uh, just leave us a comment uh, and we'll be happy to answer any questions you have. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and uh, we'll see you all next time. Have a good weekend.